O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law, it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem, pray. Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. 
Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he has lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight, the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I bear it all for the sake of those who are chosen, 
so that in the end they may have the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and the eternal glory that comes with it. Here is a saying that you can rely on. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. By the cross of her Lord stood Mary all holy, Queen of heaven and earth. By the cross of her Lord stood Mary all holy, Queen of heaven and earth. She won the crown of martyrdom without suffering the pain of death. By the cross of her Lord stood Mary all holy, Queen of heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. By the cross of our Lord stood Mary all holy, Queen of heaven and earth. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise God, the Father, who chose Mary as the mother of his son and wanted all generations to call her blessed. With confidence we pray, May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Father, you did great things for the Virgin Mary and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill the hearts of your children with the hope of Clark Christ's glory. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Through the prayers of Mary, our mother, heal the sick, comfort the sorrowful, pardon sinners, grant peace and salvation to all. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. You favoured Mary with the fullness of grace. Bestow on all men your overflowing blessings. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. 
May your church be united heart and soul, held fast by love. And may your faithful be joined in continuous prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Father, you exalted the Virgin Mary and crowned her Queen of Heaven. May the dead enter your kingdom and rejoice with your saints forever. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, when Jesus, your Son, was raised up on the cross, it was your will that Mary, his mother, should stand there and suffer with him in her heart. Grant that, in union with her, the church may share in the passion of Christ, and so be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.